have a look at Pocket Game Not Busy's monetizer. Um, we're going to have a look at a game from Mind Candy today. It's um, World of Warriors. So Mind Candy is well known for its uh, Moshi Monsters franchise, um, which is a, a, a kids uh, web game. Um, that was a subscription game, um, which is very hard to really do microtransactions on. Um, so um, and actually it was a kind of PC game. Didn't it's kind of they found it hard to, to to take the franchise to mobile. So this is a game, even though it's from um, Mind Candy, it's from a completely separate development team um, that they've got um, and. Uh, a completely different kind of um, IP, as we call it. So, that warrior, so I've got my, uh, this is a nice thing to see, daily prize. So, I mean, actually winning five of these gems isn't a great kind of thing. The, the red run's the one you want. I have to do five days in a row to get that. Anyway, I've got day, day four. So, what we're doing in this game, so we see, fired up, let's kind of, um, kind of see things going on. There's a shop, um, records, achievements, treasure. Okay, battle, a bit of a uh, um, kind of retail... Uh, Promotion going on here, um, Temple Home Camp, Facebook, so there's a Facebook connection, you can kind of um, gift um, two of these uh, blue gems. Let's take a quick look at what these gems are like. So, um, Door of Epic, so you probably can't read this here, but if I have ten red ones, I've only got six, I can get a, a rare, super rare or legendary warrior. So this is kind of, it's based on, the game uses some sort of effectively based on the backbone of a card system, so I'm kind of trying to get higher level warriors and level them up as I play the game. Um, I've got quite a lot of these blue ones. I've just used five to go through this door. This door, I, I'll kind of um, get to something. Don't really know what it is. Like all card games, there's a lot of randomization going there. So I've got a fire figurine. It's a material. So materials are used to create talismans. That is not particularly useful. Uh, go and get another. Go and see what else we get. Sometimes you get kind of um, cards. You can win cards for this, but basically you're getting items, fairly low level things. But um, there we go. I've got a silver ingot. There we go. <laughs> so come out of there. Um, so with those things I've won I can craft some stuff. Um, most of these things I haven't got enough agreement uh, in ingredients for but I can craft a protection token. Okay, for all of those. Craft protection token. Here we go. Protection token. So this is kind of interesting. It's a plus 20 percent health minus 15 minutes attack so it's kind of useful. Uh, choose a warrior to equip it on. So these are my some of these are all my warriors. Um, they have kind of different slots. Um, so choose one uh, who's he's got a slot. So if we go down here we can find it. Okay, so just drop it in there. It's got a little ten by it. That means it has um it's basically consumable, so it after ten back every time I use it it will that number will drop down by one so that this kind of a, effectively this attribute will work for ten battles. Okay, not enough um to craft anything else. Let's come out again. Um get to my home camp. Um so why is that highlighted? Uh, I'm not sure about that. Okay. Um, so we've got some, um, as we've said, uh, we've had a look at the blue and the red, we've got gold, so gold is a, um, used uh, kind of a training my warriors up and it's also used um, in, in battle, in the, to enter battles, um, in a, it's also it's used, um, ma but mainly this is this um, energy kind of food thing, so energy system effectively, so if you go to battle, um, Quickly look at the monetization. Uh, the um, kind of okay. This is this is like a this is the last battle in this kind of little sequence. So there's a little bit of story there. So you can see here the cost of, of me doing this battle. Um, so let's come out of that for the time being. Um, really just looking at monetization here. So if I want to buy some more stuff, oh, there we go. So standard kind of packs. Um, so we got the, the gold here. We can buy buy that with the gems. I think they're called uh, wild stones. So this is fairly standard. So this is I get by two uh, for three dollars, up to uh, two hundred eighty for a hundred dollars. Um, kind of unit-wise, that's kind of low. Um, often for a hundred dollars, you're often the rate is kind of one dollar for a hundred of the in-game currency. Obviously, for this one, I'm spending a hundred dollars and I'm getting two hundred eighty. So I'm only getting. Um, do the math, uh, 2.8 of these wild stones per dollar, which seems like just low, it doesn't really matter, obviously, the, the completely made up um, kind of currencies, but it seems like psychologically people want, if you're going to spend a dollar, it seems better to get 10 or 100, or 100 of these units than 2 or 3. Um, so we've got some of these packs, so these are um, potions that you use in battles, they kind of give you boost, and uh, mana um, similarly. Um, and now I don't want to buy those. Um, you kind of win win these in the, in, as you play as well. So there's some of these packs as well. Tokens we saw we made um, one of those before. We can just buy these straight off with the with our 
um, gold, um, stamina. That's a small stamina, a big stamina, effectively. Um, but we can see in, in, in all this way, it's kind of nice, I think, um, that you kind of earn, you kind of get these, given these currencies as you play, um, even hard and soft currency, which I think is a good thing. Um, but all the currencies that kind of tend to be, uh, these are quite small amounts. In other games you see, you might have a, a kind of a soft currency like this, you might get kind of millions of them, really, you might just earn loads and loads and loads, it seems. Um, as I say, kind of more generous, even though it's not really affecting anything that's going on. Um, I guess that shows different uh, kind of philosophies of, of how people want to kind of set up their, their in-game economy. So obviously they can do it in any way they like, but there's kind of guess, some psychological back um, bone to some of these things that just some of them seem more generous than others. Um, let's a quick look at the monetization or the monetization economy of um, World of Warriors.